This is the Red All Over Show with me, Joe Beardsall. And it's coming home. Uh, we've just beat Germany 2-0 England. So we're going to be chatting about that tonight on the uh, show. But also the main talking point of tonight's show as Barnsley have announced their new manager, Marcus Schopp. I pronounced that right. I'm pretty certain because I've seen about six million dad jokes, including quite a few granddad jokes. Andy, as you like to point out to me, um, already. So I'm presuming it is shop because I've seen... Go on, give us one. Give us one. What we got? Well, while we're recording this, my brother's nicked out to get us our tea. He's nicked at Chip Shop, his brother. Has he? He's been to Chip Shop. Yeah. <laughs> So get them out of your system. Uh, give us a like, because it's coming home, and uh, we've got a new gaffer, so that's good. Go on, you've got to get, get us 100 likes on this one. Uh, Josh and our ears as well. We're going to be chatting a little bit about England later, but let's talk about, uh, firstly, new manager appointments. Marcus Shop, welcome to Barnsley, Marcus, if you are watching the show. Josh, we knew it were coming, I think. We'd, we'd seen it, his, his name mentioned quite a lot. There were a little bit about whether Brexit were going to stop him from coming, but it looks like Brexit hasn't stopped it and he's, he's managed to get <laughs> get across. I don't really know all rules and regs about that. I'm not going to pretend to, but he's here. So we know he's here and that's good enough for us. So uh, what do you think to appointment? Another Austrian coach? Yeah, I think it's following a similar model. Um, interesting to see his tactics a uh, slight variation from what we've had before seems to be more regimented and structured in his approach as to opposed to Valerian style of more physical in the fact that he'll physically demand him and working off trigger presses and things like that he seems much more structured um, and I think for me jury's a bit out on that approach because I do think that due to the young age of our team um, I feel like a structured defensive unit is something that we've proven that we can be inconsistent with it um, and I think that's why the high press worked because that's just we could just basically use our younger players who've got more of an engine to constantly press press we'll bring on free attackers just to pressure even higher again um, so it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out I think obviously I'm not going to write going to write him off immediately because that's not that's not what I do but um, I do think that It'll be interesting to see how, how it pans out. Because um, obviously, players of the more mature now, the more experienced. So the, the, they will have the ability to adapt to his style, obviously. But um, it's going to be interesting to see how it works. Don't, Josh, I know what you're saying, mate, but we, we all know, Satya, that as soon as we beat Cardiff on opening day of the season, you'll be you'll be booking your ticket for Wembley again. So I'm not I'm not believing oh, I've that. I've already I've already booked it already. I've got faith in Mr. Shop to come and cut to, to come and deliver. From what I've seen, he likes to play with a, fo a focal point up front. So I put a pencil cap Carl Morris in that role, we'll draw behind him, and that's it. That's promotion so sorted. Alan, you'll love the fact that Knowing you, because I know you love under twenty threes and all youth sides. That the fact he's 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 got experience developing young players. It's something that obviously we know at Barnsley. Any coach coming in now, that's one of the first things on on, on tick list, and it got got to be able to develop young players. It is, and it last <clears throat> excuse me, last week or so, uh, we signed uh, four on, haven't we, and uh, get a professional contract. So it looks as though it's going well for under twenty threes. One thing I'd like to praise the owners for is they've acted swiftly. Uh, back in training this week and we've now got a new head coach so we've not held, held off to wait and see have we, we, we we've acted swiftly and uh, hopefully uh, it can uh, get the club shop full Go steady present owners Al we haven't had Dave Murphy's announced he's leaving yet so you'll still have something to moan about next week don't worry about that <laughs> you, you, need to keep, you need to keep with, with Smith and Joe it's not the superstore it's the it's the it's the shop isn't it Al? <laughs> It's it not, is. It's a club. You club snuck it shop. in now. You That's snuck the it one. In. You didn't get it. You didn't realise you'd snuck it in. The football club needs you. Go and go and get some shopping in. Uh, just on that, lads. <laughs> uh, Paul Conway also in his statement confirmed that 11,000, I don't know how he calls it, season pass, season ticket holders is what I read it. I think it's, it's, that's what it's rating it. I think he means res reserve and plus and all that. 11,000 season ticket holders. Man, Oakwell is going to be bouncing next season, and it? I can't wait. You know what? Just amazing. All upheaval. I know that obviously Val went, and we're all a bit down at dumps when he went, and there's all that about whether Dane's going to go and all, and I think we pretty much expect he might. But it doesn't matter, does it? 11,000 nerves next season. What commitment. That's brilliant, that, lads. So, give you a send a, lads and lasses, give you a send a round of applause. Cheers, fans. Brilliant to all of you. Well done. Uh, so, uh, yeah, super commitment for a club like Barnsley, that. Um, what do we reckon then, Andy? Come on, what's your thoughts on him? 
Here's your lowdown. You've got to, have you, you done your research? You've been on Wiki? Been on Wikipedia or Google or something? Oh, no, I'm not getting into that. I've, 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 looked, I've, I've looked at what, what, the, what the football clubs put out. And we'll see, won't we? If, if we... Um, I mean, we're going to get back in. And it needs to have back in. We can't be too negative at this moment because we need back in. What I would hope... I mean, I, you never know what to believe and what not to believe. I've seen some analyses that, um, that people in Austria have done for, you know, for his style, but it, it can depend on the type of player that you've got. If he, set us up defen- if he sets us up defensively, we'll not do that well. You know, I've seen people saying, oh, he, he, he likes to play 4-1, 4-1 or something of that sort. Um, I hope... I hope that we stick to our principles, which is what you know what they've done for the last number of managers and head coaches, that we've got a pressing game. But I, I think I'm a bit like Josh. I, I want us to keep pressing. I, I think we need to keep pressing as we have done, but not just clog it forward because there's been times when it, either we get caught out with it or it looks shocking. I know it's been effective at times, but there's times when I've seen players in midfield, and I'll say particularly Palmer and Mowat, have had the ball, have had plenty of time in front of them to move forward with, and it's got to have come from the sideline. We've just ogged it forward. And you think, just just pass. When we do pass it, we've, we've looked tremendous last season, absolutely tremendous. So I hope that he combines the best of it with a pressing game that we are very, very good at, but also getting the ball down and passing it. It'll get, it'll get my sweat. If we start going all defensive, pe- people will take the mickey out us because we're not defensively good enough for me. Well, I was listening to um, uh, Radio Sheffield did an interview with the other Bundesliga podcast. Uh, I don't know if you guys, I sent you a link, but it's a good interview. Yeah, if you want to listen to that. Um, and they, they were saying that actually it's, it's the opposite. It's really attacking, but he, he, he plays it out from the back, apparently. He plays, he tends to play a 4-2-3-1, um, uh, but his attack, his football is very, very attacking, very offensive. Um, so actually it seemed like it was more the opposite that we could expect maybe some leaking at the back. With that in mind, one of the things I would say to Marcus straight away, this is my opinion, I'd ask him to go and watch some videos of our games in, in championships since we got promoted. Because I, I look back and I think Stendhal, really attacking, probably too attacking for championship, maybe cost him his job in end. Struber, obviously, different style to Val altogether, but you know, did get results. And then obviously Valerian did amazing with the press. So I think he, he, he'd, be, he'd do him good to go and watch those and maybe he will have to adapt his style a little bit because we all know the championship. You can't just go, go no, in my opinion. I think you've got to you've got to work to your players' strengths. And I think that's what Val did so well with our team. Um, so no negativity there, but I think that would be a good good starting point, gents, for me. I think he needs to watch a few videos. I like us having a back three. If we go to a back four, that, that would worry me a bit because we... Some of our strengths is that the, the, the back three, you know, we've got wing backs as well that cover for each other. And if, the, if there's not that extra one to cover, um, we could leave ourselves a bit, or certain players could leave themselves a bit exposed. And, and that, that worries me a little bit. But, you know, we'll see, won't we? We'll, we'll see what he does. You know, good, good luck to him. And it's a good appointment. I, I did notice who, who announced it, though. And I think it looks pretty clear to me that, you know, it was announced by... Uh, by Paul Conway, and normally it had been announced by by Dave Murphy. So I, I think I've said I think I've said to you, Joe, it, it it's looking the next two days. You know, it's the it's it's the end of you know end of June tomorrow. So contracts are up tomorrow. So either tomorrow or or the day after when it's the first of July, get ready for some changes because I think it could well mean. And I do for my personal, I, I think sadly it could well mean that Dave Murphy. He's off on his way to Forest or wherever. And, and Alex Mowat's going because I, I, I can't see it any other way now. And I think that's a crying shame together with the uh, with the head coach going as well. I just think it's a crying shame. But, you know, we're still, we're still got season tickets. We'll still support them, won't we? It's the team we support, not individual people and players. There's always going to be ups and downs, isn't there? There's people are always going to leave in football. I know it's hard to take. Um, well, I think Carl's made a really good point there. At least we got new gaffer in early, you know, first day back at pre-season. I think that's important, Josh, to, to have him in straight away, get your style, get get yourself implementing what you want to play with these lads, see who you've got, maybe get a couple of extra signings in that fit him as well if he needs them. I'm sure we can tap into Austria again. We seem to love it. <laughs> Dominic Friesen, he's a new mate. <laughs> so if we're not having Ritzmeyer back, we need to get over there again and Solbar and all. No, I think I think they've done right. I think it shows as well that we half knew that Valerian will go in. It feels like it's not a rushed appointment. I think we've known it. 
it's smart. Why would we not think you were going? He had a two million pound buyout clause. It got us to fifth last season, and there's there were Palace at one point were rumoured for him. West Brom. It was only going to only become more and more teams interested in him, um, even throughout the season. If we if we set set it off red hot again, someone's going to come come in and take him probably before Christmas. So it makes sense. I think we've probably had this plan in place for a while that we we're going to get. We we're probably. Well, I, I assume we've probably never stopped looking for a new coach and a new uh, in in that regard. In a way, I assume it's like a continual thing that keeps going in the back burner. I think you can tell with how quick we replace managers. There's always someone else that we're like, right, we'll get them and we'll sort we'll sort it out this way. It's very. There's not. It's not often. Adam Murray's taking many games. Did he take three in between Stendhal and Schruber coming in? So it's not like we're waiting a month or so. It's within a couple of weeks that we're getting people in. So I think it is important that we got we we got him in so early though. Tuss obviously he's got the full preseason, then he can assess players, and then we can start attacking the transfer market as well for areas in which he wants to strengthen for his style of play. So just a smart business decision and a smart football decision. I've got to ask you, lads, because obviously as fans, we've all got different opinions and we're all together when we get out there. We'll all be cheering them on when we get back to Oakwell, but we do have different opinions on stuff. And by all means, as always, we say, get your comments in. We love debating with you. We love having a chat. Keep it nice. and and But, you know, your opinion matters, so get it in. There's been quite, obviously, when anybody leaves, there's always a, oh, that board doing things right. Is this going right? Are, are you doing things right? What's your thoughts? <sighs> You know, obviously, it's, it never feels good, does it, when you, your manager leaves, your chief executive looks like he's probably going to be off and your captain looks like he's probably going to be off. Do you have any sort of thing where you think we should have done something better? Is there what we could have learned from from this? Or, or do we have to just say, end of day, it's football and that's how it is? It's nature of business, isn't it? Other clubs have seen how we've performed. Other clubs have seen where we've gone in lockdown, how we've progressed, where we've been, up to fifth, into playoffs nearly gone into the playoff final. And clubs with more money, more <clears throat> more money than what we've got, are, are going to come looking. And they have come looking. And it's nothing to do with our football club. It's nothing to do with how we've treated them. Just the fa- fact that there's more money on offer. Uh, and any any in any business, any working man, if they can go somewhere and earn more dosh, they're going for it. So there's nothing we can do about it. Just got to accept it, move on. And hopefully... We fill in the chief executive role swiftly. We fill in uh, the secretary, club secretary, swiftly, and say same as what we've done uh, w- with the shop. So what you're saying now is nobody's offered you any extra cash to, to leave us. Is that what it is? <laughs> uh, Gareth Southgate's just been on phone and saying, uh, "Can I help him out just to ensure we get to final?" Oh, he wants you for England podcast, does he? <laughs> right. How much are we getting? What's his compo? <laughs> Undisclosed. Undisclosed fee, is it? All right. I'd like it's to know how much it is, please. You'd fit into that team, Alan. You'd fit into that team with your speed. <laughs> um, Andy, got to ask it. So is there what we could have done better as a football club? Or do we just have to say, you know what? We're stuck in a clause. Like Josh has said, clearly they've got a production line there where they've got a spreadsheet. We know we love the spreadsheet where they've got player replacements, gaffer replacements. We're hoping a chief exec replacement if Dane is going to go. Is that as best the club can do? And um, sometimes we have to accept if someone wants to go, they, they're going to go and that's it. Well, they are, but other, other clubs seem to manage it a bit better than us. It's always going to be that there's a there's somebody higher than you in the in the chain, in the, in the food chain. You know, there's always somebody, you know, you're going to find, you know, West Brom, for example, are going to find that there's, some, there's, somebody, there's somebody well above them that might come for some of their players. Or it, that's always going to happen. But we do see... We do seem to be chopping and changing a lot. I've having had having sold nobody apart well apart from um, apart from Brownie. We sold nobody in three transfer windows. Then all in one go, it's looking looking like chief executive, club secretary, perhaps um, head coach and captain. If all of them come off, that that that's a lot. I said before, a lot like the spine. And, and you know, you know what, you know what, Bans, you know, Barnsley fans are. A lot of Barnsley fans are more miserable than me, and I know that takes some doing. Probably not more miserable than me, brother. Although I have to say, he's been he's been jumping about and ragging me about the England match today. I can't. I don't, I don't think he's my brother. Where he's, I know we're going to talk about him a bit, but I don't. I don't. I, don't, I think so, I think somebody's taken over him for a little bit. So he's got a bit giddy today. Um, but it's just you know we're going to say same again. You know when we lost. You know Adam Davis went. 
there's always a reason to centre half striker. You know, Kiefer went. And I, I, I don't want. I, I want to see, and I've said it so many times. I want to see us have some stability. Other teams, other clubs that aren't as well run as us, that are lower than us, seem to manage stability better than us. So there must be something that we can do that's better. Uh, I'm not sure it is. I'm too bothered about the manager, if I'm honest now, because I'm just, like I said before, I'm disappointed in him. We've got more money after the last two managers in the last year than we have on players. So, you know, maybe we're booking the trend. Other teams sell, other clubs sell players. We're selling managers. So that's how we're making our money. In my players, we're selling managers. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I, I don't like so much change. You want, I, I don't want to see a revolution unless we're doing poorly, in which case sometimes you need a revolution. But we're not doing poorly. We've been gradually, gradually improving and did really well last year. You want to see evolution, not revolution. And, you know, I, I, I hope that that's what we see. I'm not sure it, that it will be. We've got some tough games right at the start of the season. I know you're going to get all happy clappy about a way to... Cardiff and then Coventry yeah, no, at home. Not we didn't go that great to wait to Cardiff and home to Coventry last season when we were on a high. So, you know, I, it does worry me a little bit. If we don't start too well, it, you know, people people, people like me will start moaning like flipping mad and people like Smithy will start. And, oh, and no, that, don't take me into this, Mr. Simcox. So, so we got more, Andy, we got more money, Andy, we got more money with Valerian Ishmael than we did for Carl Tyler for that stand behind you, what you're sitting. I just I just see this. I just see this. We're all going to be going back to touch wood. We're all going to be going back to Oakwell. A couple of, a, a, you know, if we don't start very well, I've got to put up with him at side of me and him, him there in car park, chelping away like a good to all and sundry at top of his voice. See, see. And, and that's what see, see, don't bring me into it but that's what it's going to be like it's going you to can be buy tickets if you want car park no problem you can buy tickets to see it live I didn't know we were flogging tickets <laughs> let me guess 11,000 underscore sphere the Al <laughs> he's, he's gone we've done him <laughs> too many but, too many bevies we're flogging him for a pork pie we only need three pork pies for us right, keep going it's not even wearing the bars this year. You know, England, <laughs> it's Barnsley, pal. This is a Barnsley podcast. So you then out, Smithy. And with that in mind, I've got to give a good shout out to our uh, latest Patreon supporter, Josh G. Cheers, Josh, uh, for supporting us and everybody else who supports on Patreon. It keeps the show going so we can uh, pay for the editing software and keep improving the equipment and stuff. So really appreciate it, guys. Um, I'm going to use one of my top five Red Oliver sayings here to just finish this little bit of the conversation. Josh. I'm not sticking up for the board. Oh, here but... we go. I knew, I, knew, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. But we don't seem to be selling players like we used to. We haven't sold anybody yet so far. I don't no. want to jinx it. I don't want to, you know, I know there'll be people shining at me going, no, Joe, why have you said that? And I'm saying it to myself. But so far, Moat we couldn't really do much about because he hadn't signed a new deal. DK was on loan. So we haven't lost any mm -hmm. players technically buy it through a sale no um i think we have learned from the transfer window 2017 when hurry and win all when we lost when we're all, we're in a good position and we basically cashed in um spine at team just went everybody. didn't it yeah and we just and we just fell we just fell away um but i don't think that was under this board was it, it wasn't that under the previous board, I think it, yeah, it was the towards the end of the previous board, yeah. I think. Yeah, so I think the I think they've the current board has seen that, and it, in in a way they're protecting their assets in in the club by retaining Callum Styles on a long deal. Everyone we're signing now is always on a three four four year deal. With obviously there's going to be a year or two of development, and then after that, that's when we're probably going to cash in and just. So going to one of my top five red all over uh, mottos, up, upgrade the model um, and then expand the wage budget and things like that. So it is it, we, we are still a work in progress. Um, I think you've said it multiple times, Joe. We're, we are a few years off Brentford, off, em, off emulating what they were doing when they're selling Ollie Watkins for 30-odd 30 million and then bringing Tony for 10 million, which is... Basically the same as us bringing in a lower league player for hundreds of grand, then selling them for millions. Um, so 
I think they've done everything. They're, they're doing all right on the field. I think we're getting we're getting most things right. And in this certain scenario, there's there's only so much you can do. Because I feel I feel this Dame Murphy thing sort of come out of the blue, and it's a way in which you can't really prepare for it. Whereas Valerian, we can see the on the on field results. There's going to be interest, and then behind them be, be, behind the on field results, you've got the recruitment, which. I'm assuming Dame Murphy's got some sort of ending, especially bringing players like DK with the American connection. Um, so he's he's shown his talent in a way this season, bringing in players that fit Valerian style and have kicked us onto that next level. So in a way, I see I see why the clubs are interested in taking him offers. Can you do anything about it? I'm not really too sure because it's it's a backroom kind of it's a back office kind of move and things like that. So it's not, it's not really something that if I, if I were the board, it's not something that I would have prepared for in a way. I'd, I'd be much more focused on on field rather than off field personnel leaving. Do you, so you don't think they'll have got a chief exec lined up? I can't see it. Cause I think, Com, I think Paul Conway held it for a while after um, Gautier left. Gautier left. Yeah. Do, yeah could you see Gautier Gennar coming back? I mean, I, I well, loved Gorsi, a great guy. He once bought, he once, he... bought me fish and chips. So as far as I'm concerned, he's right with me. Is it Nancy at the moment? Yeah, I, think yeah. I think that's the, the link there because he's within like the group of clubs which our owners own. So there's a potential, there's an opportunity. I can't really see it, but I think he could. I'd, I'd welcome him back, to be honest. He was great. I yeah, him. I think he was. I think he was good. I think he learned a lot, and he became a really good asset. I just hope, Joe, how lads, uh, what I've seen on social media. I hope it's not right. I've I've heard and seen that uh, a rumour is going around that Callum Styles was putting for a transfer request. Yeah. I just hope that's not uh, right. Just be but... careful with the rumour mill, though, Al. It is. You know what it's like on social. It, it's. I think that, do you know what? I think there's this thing that once one goes, everybody starts thinking, hey, up, they're all going to want to go now. And I don't think there's as much truth in that as we all think. There can be. But I don't believe that just because, you know, if I were a player and Valerian goes, yeah, you're upset, but they know it's football and they know how football works. They might be off next week or next year or whatever. They're probably just waiting to see who comes in, see if they get on with him, see if he likes them, and then they'll see how it goes. So I don't read into much. I feel like sometimes we have this thing where we saw Valerian go and everyone suddenly went, panic button. Oh, they're all off now. Dane's off and all. And yeah, okay, we're going to lose a couple. But don't mean... Well, like we've said, fans at Arctic Club, us lot and y'all lot watching, 11,000 season ticket holders next season. If we make noise and get behind them, we can beat anybody in championship. Get behind these lads. They finish fifth. So even if we lose two more players, we've still got a damn good team. who can. That and can at play. least our manager will hear the Oakwell roar. Yeah, let's just get behind him. But he's just going to be careful playing out at back because he didn't do right well against Preston away a couple of seasons back. So let's not let's not do that too much. Is what I'd probably say. That's my only concern. I'm going to say, Joe. I'm going to say, Joe, that I'm surprised that you're not more upset about Dan going. But of course, his partner Melissa won't be able to teach you. She won't be able to take you out in football again, will she? You're not you're not able to show your bruises off him. I actually away. prefer to be on Melissa's Why? side because she's a really good footballer and I enjoy. Yeah. Her and Dane are both good footballers, to be fair. Really good footballers, both of them. Only when she's on your I'm side. playing Monday I'm football with him. I'm going to miss it. Oh, like congratulations, it. Joe Beards, all on uh, winning the uh, charity game on Saturday. Thank you. Yeah, uh, raising money for Minds. Thanks to uh, Chris Rujard for setting that up and uh, inviting me. It was very nice. Yeah. Got to say I was a bit of a ringer, mm -hmm. but you know, did uh, did come in, score a couple of goals, a couple of assists. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. I knew uh, two Won goals, two assists. All two I'm goals, saying is, assists, I can when we were three goals up, we got to one behind, and they were and Gaffer were like, "Oh, we're going to have to bring you back on, Joe, because it's getting a little bit tight here." What? What? It roll on, roll off. That's fine. Get me back on. Sorry, roll on, roll sorry, off. Sorry, 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 last two oh. minutes. Absolutely fine. Bro, bro, I knew, bro. I knew, I knew, I knew you were going to bring this up. I knew it. I mean, I've seen it in various group chats of a oh. week. I mean, I mean, to be hey, honest, that was just Saturday. I've had ten goals since then. I've only played twice. On oh, fire! I'm on fire! Yeah. If I were at Euros, I'd be like anybody but Harry Kane. <laughs> Even though he's scored, like so we're going to give like Calvert Lewin not 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 been picked. I imagine. <laughs> That's my what was that all about? What's that um, all about? I'm only wind. I'm only wind. I just do it to wind Josh up. It's funny because <laughs> he, he sees me play every Thursday and he knows. Yeah, I have to do all your running on Thursday. 
Double header this week and all. It is a double oh, header. Get down to Unwell. Come have a watch. I think it's in restrictions. I think I can say that. Unwell six aside. Best league at world. Anyway, uh, apart from Austrian league, apparently, at championship. Um, so, I was going to ask you, because we don't know when Dane's going to go, if he's going to go yet. Obviously, it's not been announced. We're not sure. But we can presume, obviously, if you're looking at the fact that Paul Conway did sort of uh, comment on uh, Marcus Shop's arrival, that is something that we don't tend to see. I don't think without a chief executive statement, that would usually be Dane, I imagine. No, we might be reading into it completely wrong. Maybe Dane's just on holiday, but we don't know. But if he was to go, what impact do you think that's going to have, Reds? Tell us in comments. You get your thoughts in. I think that we're, we're going to miss his American connections. And yeah, and I think he's, he's I think he's been brilliant for us behind the scenes. So I do think it is going to be a loss, but um, no one's irreplaceable. I think we can get someone else in and I'll miss him. We like, move on, Joe. It's simple him. as that. We move on. Oh, and a good move on, Joe. Move on, grow, and let's see where it takes us. As simple as that. Oh God, Smith is going on. Oh, boy, well on oh. Last. oh dear me! I think he'll be. A, I think. I think he'd be a crying shame. I think he started steady. People were a bit unsure to start with, including me. And I think he's he's proved himself to be a real asset to this club. And if he does go, then it'll it'll be to it'll be to not Nottingham Forest mm. benefit rather than ours. Hopefully, we can get someone in that can do as good a job, but it could take time. A shame for me, a real shame. Does this mean you're not going on Mr. Do you, Dawes' do you want uh, come show anymore, out? Andy? Pardon? You're not going on Dawes' show anymore now, if he goes to Boris. <laughs> well, well, I went on, uh, what's it, what, what were it? Oh, uh, EFL fan show with Gabriel Sutton, that well-known Brummy fan, and put me on with Nick Weaver, who was a flipping... Flipping West Brom fan and Albion fan, so you know, I, you know, I, I, I can go any, I can go anywhere and cause bother. I swear, I you're you're all thinking anywhere. about you're trying to get you know the people leaving bars of these two, Alan and Blooming Andy. There's only gonna be me and Josh. I mean, I'm not yeah, watching. I mean, Josh that Gabriel just, Sutton Manchester, watching, you, lad. Yeah. He watches this Gabriel Sutton, and no doubt he might he might well want us about this new get Wanderers on about this about our new head coach. But you know, Mister Door Door on tour. He'll not watch this, so he can get lost for me. He can get lost with his flipping. I mean, it's a shame, isn't it? And it's you a shame, told you, you know. be respectful to all of the championship podcasts so that they like us just as much as we like them. I'm decent friend, decent friends with Mr. Doe, so you know, I'm fine. There you with go. And, 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 and Jim, let it, me know, he went Jake from uh, Talksport, he's been live at Wembley in a retro England shirt, so you know. It's all about you, Alan. You and your talk sport, mate. Yeah. It's all about you, Alan. Why didn't you get a ticket, Al? Surprise, didn't you one, mate? You and all your talk sport. There were a few few there, I know. I I could have gone in there. In fact, that's why I've got England shirt on. I've just come back by helicopter to do this show. Anyway, we've got to hurry up because Ali McCoy and Laura Woods are coming round to Al's for scones and tea in a bit. So, Josh, (laughs) (laughs) let's talk about England. This next season, we've got to start getting Josh elsewhere. Because I don't, I don't want my mate there to be to be left out on all this. No, you know, it's all right. Don't worry. I'm quite, no, I'm, I'm quite happy right. being the staunch person who uh, does zero na- name dropping on this podcast. You've got no, Joe on a Monday night. You know, oh, I play with Dame Murphy. You've yeah. got Alan on Talksport every other week, and you're anywhere but but here, Andy. I'm, I'm going to hold it down. Yeah. Hold, hold on, there. Josh. Josh, who put, who put a photo on up in uh, what were it now? Shard. Lounging. Shard. In the, the, you know, who were you up in the Shard with in London? My girlfriend. You know, I you're was, I was here doing some sort of business deal with talk sport. <laughs> Not like you. Hey, how did, they let, how did they let you in Shard? Not being oh, funny. Oh, I can. I look smart, I'll tell you, Josh. Josh, he scrubs up well, I Josh. I can blend into any social situation. <laughs> Definitely gone to like back to there. I'm like a social chameleon for them kind of places. Oh, uh, is that what you said when you stood in, you sat at West Stand in season ticket spot? Oh, I've just been uh, shared last week, lads, to Rod. Oh no, we keep that quiet. I don't want to tell Ron about. I didn't see. I, I didn't see Ronnie Fallowfield, were you? It's shared. That now I thought you'd have took Ronnie. No, Ron's more of a. I think Ron's more of a Toby Carberry kind of bloke. <laughs> hey, love a dog of Toby Carberry. Anyway, lads, let's finish it off with a bit of chat about England. Uh, I know that every man his dog's got an England podcast, so we didn't go on about it too long. But um, beat Germans 2-0. Weren't expecting that. Came to life in the last 15 minutes. 
I mean, I'm going to be honest, Catherine's still fast asleep downstairs, so it would hurt to death, but I, I thought it was quite good last 15 minutes. <laughs> thank, thank goodness he saw sense and fixed Jack Grealish on, because Jack Grealish changed the intensity of that game, and they were involved in both goals. Um, and Sterling, what can you say about Sterling? Three goals in four games? Wow. You know, there's a lot of... Uh, People, pardon me, on social media, knocking Sterling that he's not good, but he's put balling back in it. He's done what he's got to do. Uh, and we've got to live on this for a long time. It's a long time since we beat Germans in a in a cup knockout competition. So here's to, uh, I'll say it now, Southgate and the England squad. Cheers. Onwards and to the final, Josh. To the uh, final. Andy, Andy, is it coming home? Is it coming home? Oh, it, 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 it isn't, no. Oh, no, oh, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Listen, first, first, last Go and have your fish and chips. It's last coming week. home. Right, it's, time well, for right. chip, it's time for chip shop. Get off, Andy. When Jack came on, I mean, Jack Jack put Shaw through to put the cross in. And, and, and that were all right. That were Jack. And then Jack put a great cross in. I mean, it... Oh, Are you oh, mates oh, for Jack oh, Green? had to do a late it up here. He played really well, but that first 75 minutes, we played England played a really high press. The trouble was the high press were against our own goal. They were press. I got two central midfield players that oh, we're gonna oh flipping it. Defensive midfield players again. Oh, I thought pass it back, pass it back. Every time I was scream, even my brother was screaming at telly. So don't let the last 15 minutes flow you, but it, it was really poor. And I think the game changed when Muller made an absolute ash. He's threw on goal because of a stupid mistake. Threw on goal and he missed it. And that gave us art. And it were a good win in the end. But don't, don't let the first the first 75 minutes go away. It looked poor to me. That first 75 minutes, really, really poor. Harry Kane, I wouldn't... I'm glad he scored. I'm really, really glad. Because hope it'll, it'll, you know, it'll sort him out. It doesn't sound it, I'll be honest, Andy. He doesn't sound it. Shocking. For 75 minutes, he was shocking. I'm surprised... If, if Calvin Lewin had been on bench, I'd have been screaming to get him on because Kane, nah. He should, he Come should on, be. Josh. Put him in it. Put him in his place. Oh, my goodness. Do what you want. Do what you want. I know what I think. We're all different, aren't we? Yeah, but you're wrong and I'm right. <laughs> it's coming home. But you, you thought, <laughs> oh, did you like the first 75 minutes? I didn't mind it. It's no nil. We're against a very good side. In Germany, oh, yeah. we've, we've gone to match them man for man and beat them. We've gone and took their formation and beat them. We beat them at, at their own game. What's not to love about that? I am rate and I am... Is that just why you were in London on other day in Shard? You were meeting Southgate. It was mm. your tactics. You tell Southgate that the pitch really, really shone for the last 20 minutes. Exactly that. You, you, need, you need them impact players off bench. You need Foden, your mount, your Grealish. You need one of them off bench. It worked perfectly. Oh, I'm uh, going to say, lads, right? I'll be honest. I thought it was dull as dishwater until 75th minute. I think we've been dull all tournament. It is an hard watch. I'm going to be honest. But then again, I look at last night and I think France should be knocked out by Swiss. And if they could defend, they're not getting knocked out there. Because the same with Spanish, you know, they nearly got, you know, obviously Croatia took them to extra time and they had a scare. So maybe, maybe Southgate's cracked it. I mean, apparently he's done some. Apparently, he did some research. I read somewhere, and, and, and he found that all teams that have won it have been best defensive sides, and we haven't conceded a goal yet. So anyway, it's a Jordan to death. But if we win it, I might I might wear cup foot final if we <laughs> bought trophy lift. So yes, to Jordan Pickford for a couple of good saves and clean sheet. How many keepers in this tournament have had clean sheets for every game? That's fair comment, Al. That that is fair comment. But if uh, next round, or whether we're playing it next round, and you know. In, in fairness, I hope that Sweden beat the Ukraine so we play Sweden because, you know, t Tony Carlson's been, been contacting us and he hopes it is so that, you know, it can be England against Sweden. We'd like that because if they win, no doubt he'll give it some. But if we win, we beat Sweden, no doubt we'll give him a bit. Well, I will. We'll give him some. He'll be off on your Arctic I thought you didn't like England. Like England. How can you give me some... Um, Andy, double standard. Oh, double no, standard. I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. Whether we play it next round, I'm setting my alarm for 75 minutes so I can have a power nap for 75 minutes. Because like Joe, it was boring. We've got attacking, fast attacking players, young attacking players. And what do they do? They sat on their bums watching. 
75 minutes, I'll go to sleep. Andy, if Set we win alarm. every game like that, are you going to be happy if we win? If we win oh, of course not. Of course not. I want to see football played like football, not like ticky-tacky, let's pass it to centre half, let's pass it back to midfield, let's pass it back, let's get it to goal, then let's pass... Oh, no, it's boring. Well, that's not football. I've got to say, though, lads, what an opportunity. No disrespect, yeah. I know all, all minnows, if you're calling them that, or lesser teams, in, in people's opinions, have, have got good sides of eight game, but looking at draw... Obviously, by this point, Shogun, out, you, you will know it's Sweden or Ukraine because they're playing at eight o'clock tonight, and we're still where we're, I think it's about to kick off as we're doing this. Um, so one of them, and then Denmark or you know uh, Czech Republic. We've already beat Czechs. I know obviously Danish will probably be up for it, and they're having a great tournament. Um, but yeah, I think oh, one opportunity to get a final this Wembley at all. Oh, Wembley, Wembley semis and final, two home games. If we get through next one. This is the best chance we've ever had to get to final at Euros. And if we don't get there, we kick ourselves in tea. Southie has got to manage it. He's got to sort it. He's got to play every game. And I agree with Andy. We ain't got to be as negative and play ticky tappy of it back. We've got to be at times more creative because we've got that ball into their half and we come back into our half with chances if people were running to move, to pass it better and to create more. But as I say, I think Harry Maguire offered a lot. People say he's slow, but I love how he brings ball out of defence. I thought that were really good to see that. Oh, time he tried. We were our best attacker. Anyway, that... we've got less than a minute, so oh. quick one, w- one word. Score predictions. Get your score predictions in, Josh. What are we going? Two nil. Oh, I'm thinking. Oh wait, we don't know if we've got Ukraine or something. Two nil. I just realised that we don't know who we've got. You're going two nil either way. Yep, 2 0. Ukraine <laughs> or Sweden. All right. Well, in fact, do you know what? Go on, Al. What would you go for Ukraine? Wait, wait, Josh, we've done 2 0 tonight. I'm going another 2 0. I'm going, I'm going one nil either way. We aren't conceding. One, yeah, 1 0 either way. Go on, Andy. What are you thinking? If we, Sweden or oh. Ukraine? Oh, dear me. Whichever it is, at, at the best, it'll be 2 1 because we'll concede a goal. Because right. what more should have scored? We'll concede so a goal. We're all confident we're going to get through like anyway. That. Right, give us a thumbs up, uh, like the channel and comment if you want to try and win some merch. We will be giving away some soon. It's just arrived. And have a great week. Come on, England!